G'day folks, welcome to another OCC Queensland Daily Weather Wrap today, 27th of the 2nd, 2023. My name's Chris Nitzo. This update brought to you by a major sponsor, TownsAllSheds.com. Check them out if you're in the market for a shed safe accredited shed. All right, we've got a low pressure system located out here to the east of Cooktown this morning. It's tracking away to the east northeast fairly rapidly. Shouldn't impact the coastline directly. It, it will increase the winds though between Cairns and Cape Melville over the next 6 to 12 hours uh, before those winds decrease tomorrow. We can see monsoonal squall patterns coming into the Cape York Peninsula region and we've got quite a bit of rainfall across the southwest Cape and the eastern Gulf Country. We've got lots of cloud cover as well across northern inland Queensland and a few showers coming onto the northeast Queensland coastline. Away from Queensland, we've got another low located to the east northeast of Willis Island. That system is pushing away to the east, east southeast and the expectation is that it will gradually be deepening as well. And in the Coral Sea, we have a developing, well, just out of the Coral Sea, we've got a developing tropical cyclone. That's going to push into Vanuatu over the next 24 to 36 hours and make landfall in in some of the Van, Vanuatu islands and create uh, category one to three effects, depending on exactly where you are on those islands. And you can see most likely impacting the Vanuatu islands on Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday evening, and then in leaving the Vanuatu region by Wednesday night, Thursday. Now, the important thing is behind it comes the Willis Island low, and you can see that that starts to impact Vanuatu as we get into the weekend as well. So a bit of a double whammy there for folks out at Vanuatu. Right, just having a quick look at winds across Queensland today. Once that Coral Sea uh, low pressure system very close to Cooktown pushes away from the coast through the day, we're going to see those winds begin to moderate. But south easterlies are expected to be maintained for the rest of the day today across most of central Queensland. Notice south east Queensland, the winds are a little bit lighter from the east. Monsoon continues to crank with westerly winds up there in the northern Cape and we can see this area of rotation right along the monsoon trough as well, pushing through Morno and up towards Cohen. We saw some heavy falls overnight and early this morning while that low was forming across the Daintree coastline. Falls once again fairly high, up around 100, 150 mils. Certainly not as high as they were the other day, but uh, but they've been high nonetheless across this region. And the accumulation of rainfall here has been around two to 400 millimetres, which is a pretty awesome rain for that part of the world even though it is the wet season. All right, as we go through the afternoon today, where are we expecting to see our showers and thunderstorms? Look, we could see some showers and isolated thunderstorms west of the Tablelands. Uh, you can see a few showers there around the Tully um, and the uh, Ingham Ranges and the Cardwell Ranges. You can see a couple of isolated showers in the eastern escarpments here in northeast Queensland. Some very isolated convective cells across the northwestern parts of the state. Lots of showers and storms out in the Gulf Country and lots of showers and storms coming in on monsoonal squall lines across the Cape York Peninsula region region through the day. You can see our low quickly buggering off out there to the northeast and taking a, a fair bit of the rain away with it. We are still left with some southeasterly winds though, so some showers are still going to linger about the coastline, but the really heavy rain, that's probably done and dusted. As we progress into tomorrow morning, you can see more monsoonal squall lines up around the northern Cape, so some nice heavy falls there in the morning with some squall line activity coming through, and a continuation of quite widespread shower and isolated thunderstorm activity across the Gulf of Carpentaria. Quite a few showers still to come across northeast Queensland. You can see some isolated showers and thunderstorms with local moderate to heavy falls. Very localised though, across the far northern interior. Lots of showers and storms up around Cape York Peninsula, uh, both today and then early tomorrow with another squall line coming through. And that includes the Torres Strait. And lots of rain across the southeast Gulf of Carpentaria. Some of that nudging the Gulf coastline. And you can see quite a bit of shower and storm activity into the Gulf, Co the Gulf Country and into eastern NT. Across eastern Queensland, a couple of isolated showers around the coastal fringe. Some of those showers that, even though they might be isolated, could be heavy for a short period of time. And you can see some very isolated convection possible around southern and central inland Queensland. Wouldn't be too much too worried about any of that. There's a heck of a lot more weather going on in other parts of northern Australia with particular focus up around the North Kimberley and the top end and, and through the inland parts of the Northern Territory. If you'd like to know more about that, or if you'd like to look much further into the future, head over to join.ozcyclonechasers.com.au. Check out our subscription options. Thanks for watching this video. I'll talk to you tomorrow.